Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Shireen and Francis Helps, Flea Bay Farm. Oh, thank you. Um, do you really think rating the life out of the rural community will save Christchurch from flooding? Uh, we just see this as another stick to beat us with, and never is there a carrot in sight to reward landowners who have done their best to protect biodiversity, including freshwater species. Is the rift so great between rural and urban that you are this out of touch? Do you really think farmers are making so much money you can snatch so much off them? Do you not know we are suffering one of the worst prolonged dry spells in living me memory? Farmers are having to sell capital stock and buy and feed at inflated rates just to try and keep some of the genetics they've spent years of breeding. Do you not comprehend the stress farmers are living through at present? Do you not understand farmers have one of the highest suicide rates of any profession? At Puhatu we have achieved much. We have two of the cleanest waterways in Canterbury with the healthiest native fish populations recorded. We already protect our waterways with covenant of native forest and native forest strip nutrient sinks across our hillsides. And surveys of our streams testify to our success. We have dropped stock numbers by at least 50% and done everything in our power to save our environment and natural biodiversity and create a zero emission farming operation. We protect the largest mainland colony of little penguin on mainland New Zealand out of our own pockets. And what have CCC done to help? You have taken away Akarai's and Banks Peninsula's prosperity by not only taking away the cruise ship business but falsifying a report stating Akarai was the least favoured destination when the opposite was true. Therefore, try destroying Akarai's great reputation is a tourist attraction. To sabotage Agarra and Banks Peninsula's tourism in such an underhanded way was staggeringly unbelievable and hurtful. Just to make sure this tactic works, you hike up the charges to discourage what cruise ships might want to keep coming. You are trying to force Banks Peninsula farmers to go for a resource consent for any farm improvements or management on, of improved pasture. This particularly disadvantages farmers like us who have to do scrub control on an annual basis because we have chosen to preserve so much of our native forest. The more you preserve, the more you need to control to keep your farming at a, liable balance, a viable balance. It seriously disadvantages any farmer wishing to farm a zero emissions regenerative farm. You made deals with forest and birds as to the coastal plan that has horrifying implications for us. It's contracted, your um, contracted engineering firm has spent millions on resurfacing Banks Peninsula shingle roads. Um, the failure to control rainfall runoff in the design of shingle roads has meant that much of this road surfaces newly laid down is quickly eroded away. Roads should have three sweeps with a grader. First, to clear the ditch. Second, to, to sweep shingle from the outside edge. And third, to smooth down the centre, being careful not to flatten it to the extent the water will not run off the sides. Two sweeps just does not do the work necessary to stop road damage. The lack of CCC roading oversight is no better demonstrated than gorse and the Misty Peaks Reserve growing in the ditch to such an extent that the plants are reaching across the road, scratching along the sides of passing vehicles. Culvert heads are blocked off by eroded shingle and plant material, with the CCC roading contractor uh, is failing to clear even when a team is sent out with a digger to do so. Sorry, that, to, sorry to interrupt, but we've sort of come to the end of the time. Would you be able to submit the balance of what you're reading from? Because well, you're very a, close to the finish. You've covered off a number of things that we're, we're very behind time. Uh, we've covered off a number of things that weren't in your original submission and um, I'd like to look into those. Okay, thank you. Um, Jolene Edgar, Chairperson 